Fewer steps to make images means faster generations, and that's great news for everyone, especially those with slower cards. Of course, it's no good if the image quality isn't really up to much, because who wants to generate rubbish images really quickly? Well, thankfully, HyperSD is here to give us an alternative to using LCM. But is it any good? Well, we can take a look at those pictures. There, we got various comparisons, and I think you will agree at the top there, HyperSDXL looks very good indeed. In this video I'm going to go through three different options for using it, the first one being their one-step SDXL unit, the second option being their LoRa which you can use with a Stable Diffusion 1.5 model, and thirdly a LoRa which you can use with any SDXL model. As you can see from the news today, 26th of April, they will also be releasing some more stuff in the future. Before you can, however, there are a couple of steps you'll need to do first. First of all, of course, you'll need Comfy UI, so you should have that installed already. If you haven't, then do check out the links in the video description for more information. To start with, there are just two steps that you'll need to get everything running. First of all, you'll need to download and install the custom node. That's there in Comfy UI, and it's that one, Comfy UI Hyper SDXL One Step unet scheduler so download that into the usual place which is of course custom underscore nodes there it is in my comfy ui installation then the second step is to download the model that's the one there hyper sdxl one step unet comfy ui dot fb 16 dot safe tensors as usual that should go into your comfy ui models checkpoints directory You'll also want to download the three workflows. There you can see the two with the LoRa and one with the one-step unit. Now you can fire up Comfy UI as normal and load that workflow. This is the one I'm going to be starting with, the one-step unit. Here it is then, that one-step unit workflow. Let's see how quickly it can create a row. Oh, I haven't finished speaking yet. It's making rodents. So there it is, lots of rodents, paintings of them, all done in one step really, really quickly. If I try it with a different prompt, this time I've got Starry Night with a rodent, and as you can see, those are all looking rather cool in one step. Anime style, can it handle that? Yeah, those are looking pretty good. And how about some basic prompt understanding here? I want a photorealistic sunflower growing out of a kitten's head. Um, sometimes I've got a sort of mix of a sunflower and a kitten, but well, it's doing it really quickly. How about some more photorealism? This time I want a cinematic photo of an underground house, and it's not doing too badly. Is it any good at people and faces? Well, here we've got a photo of a woman with short black hair. It's not particularly photo-like, and some of the faces do come out a little bit weird, but it is still only one step. How about a graphic novel art style rodent detective behind his office desk then with some rich and vibrant colours? Those are indeed coming out quite well. Yeah, I'm, li I'm liking that in one step. Another style then, drawings. Can we get drawings? Yeah, okay, those are pretty good. And rather than trees, can we draw faces as well? Yes, we can. Another style then, watercolours. Do we get watercolour landscapes? Oh, okay, yeah, those are pretty good for a watercolour style. Can we make those pixel arts? Yes, we can. Those are very nice. And how about a pixel art goldfish riding a bicycle? Yes, okay, those aren't too bad. Some of them fairly impressive, some of them a little bit weird. Okay, so that's the one step unit. Pretty good, a whole variety of different styles. Of course, depending on the style you pick, the quality of your image may vary, but for one step, I think those are all very good. All right, let's move on to the LoRa's then, which you can, of course, use with other models. To use these workflows, make sure you've also downloaded those LoRa files into your Comfy UI Models LoRa's directory. There you can see all the Hyper SD ones I've got. Now, while the one step LoRa option is certainly the fastest, getting decent results with it typically, um, well, they look a little bit like that. If I switch to using the standard Stable Diffusion 1.5 checkpoint, they are a little bit better, but still not really the quality of that one-step unit we just saw a moment ago. You can lower the strength on that LoRa a little bit, and uh, whilst it doesn't work with the original Stable Diffusion 1.5 checkpoint, 
Once we start moving up the steps, it can help just a little bit. So there it is with two steps on strength 0.7. And if we do the same thing again with strength one, you'll see they are a little bit burnt. So turning the strength down can help a little bit. Once we move on to the four step Laura though, things start to get a little bit better. So as mentioned, the one step and the two step, I can't really get this sort of quality of image out, but these four steps are pretty good. We can bypass this LoRa loader up here, control B, now it's bypassed. If we generate it now, you'll see the difference that LoRa makes. So yep, those are nowhere near as detailed. And here is the four steps with strength one again. So as you can see, a little bit burnt, but if you lower it, then they do get a bit better. DDIM SGM Uniform is the default, but it can work sort of with some other ones as well. So for example, if we do LCM and Simple, generate a few more rodents, and they're also of reasonable quality. Going up to eight steps, of course, gives the best results as you'd probably expect, though once again, you may wish to lower the strength of that LoRa a little. So here we've got some rodent wizards going through in just eight steps. And again, this time with the strength of the LoRa up at one, a little bit burnt this time, but still not too bad. Being a LoRa, it's not quite as easy to change styles. So while I can do a fairly decent painting, using the Dream Shaper 8 model here. If I try to do a watercolor, then you'll find that the model basically just applies its own fine-tuned style. I think it's fairly clear and obvious to see those aren't quite the watercolor style that we saw in the one-step unit. The final workflow here is much the same again, only this time for SDXL models. So you pick an SDXL model there, the SDXL LoRa, and of course, change the latent size to something more suitable. This case, I've got 1024 by 1024. If we run that one through and try and get a one-step watercolor image, I think you can probably guess what happens. Well, oddly enough, it's not too bad. So there we go. We've got a strength of 0.85. If we put that up to one, let's find out what happens there. Crank that up. Will I get a better watercolor landscape or will it be all burnt? Well, it's sort of better, but it's also a little bit burnt too. We've got some strange people turning up as well. Going up to two steps. Yes, indeed, the quality does improve once again. Unlike the Stable Diffusion 1.5, I think you can get some fairly decent outputs. Turning the strength down to 0.85 once again gives a little bit of a better image rather than those burnt sort of crispy ones. Even though this is doing just two steps, let's try that graphic novel art style rodent detective. Um, okay, it's close, although it hasn't got a rodent there. We've got some humans instead. Easily fixed though with a quick change of model. Here we've got real cartoon XL instead, which does indeed give us our rodent detectives. Going up to four steps, and yes, of course, the quality does indeed increase again. And I think this is probably the sweet spot for the SDXL LoRa's. Here I've got it running four steps at 0.85. Although turning it up to one this time isn't quite as bad as the others. Here we can see they're still a little bit crispy, but not too bad. Can we make that pixel art fish in four steps? Oh, okay. All right, yes we can. That is definitely a goldfish riding a bicycle. Lots of fish there, so some are better than others, but not bad at all. Okay, so we've had lots of fish and rodents. Let's have some people here. I'm asking for a full color portrait photo of a woman. What's it going to give us with eight steps? Will it be any good? Um, yeah, that's not too bad at all. All right, yeah, I'm quite liking those. Turning the strength down once again can give you some slightly better results if things are coming out overcooked. Well, I think overall they all look like a pretty decent quality to me. These workflows and tutorial notes are also available on my Patreon if you want to grab them from there as a thank you should you wish to help support the channel. So there you have it, a nice alternative to LCM LoRa's and the one-step SDXL UNet model is pretty cool too. Talking of cool, here's another one of those UDO music generation things to sign out just for funsies. 
Cheers for watching, mate. It's you who makes the channel great. Nerding out, it's rodent time. Learning AI is so fine. It's all done in a really British way. The best you'll find anywhere, any day. Nerdy